Welcome to Tasmania. With today's video, I am continuing the video series of 130 things to do in Tasmania. There are so many things to do and see in Tasmania and it is not just limited to main cities. There are many hidden cities and places that not everyone bothers to visit. This is the second video and if you have missed the first one, please check out the previous video covering 37 things to do in the southern part of Tasmania. Before we begin, subscribe to my channel for more travel content. In this video, I will list down everything to do in east side of Tasmania and Launceston city. All for Adventures Calls Bay. The park itself is beautiful and hidden spots you are taken to on this tour are hard to beat. Those who prefer all the action but are slightly more secure can ride in the buggies or you can take the quad bike. This is a fun way of accessing the national park and secret spots. You don't need any previous experience, they will give you full guidance on how to operate before the tour. Bay of Fires. This is a highlight in Tasmania. The orange colored rocks in the northern east coast. The colors and shapes of the rocks and the water are beyond description. There are few places you can access these colored rocks in the northeast. Best option would be to go to St. Helens Visitor Information Center where you can get a full map of where you can see the beautiful scenery. Ben Levon National Park and Ski Resort. One of the most geologically beautiful places in Tasmania. The ski resort is only open during winter, but you still can do summit walk during the summer months. There is a shuttle bus operating to access the ski resort during winter times. Jacob's Ladder Jacob's Ladder is a strikingly winding mountain road. The six switchbacks of the ladder makes for a stunning view into the valley below. It is short but challenging drive but at the top is a short broad walk to a fantastic view point. Bichina Blowhole. This is a lovely little stop to take on the weaves and the blowhole. Great fun to watch people to see how close they can get without getting stalked. Cape Tourville Lighthouse. The Cape Tourville Lighthouse is an unmanned automatic lighthouse built in 1971 and sits at the crest of Cape Tourville at elevation of 126 meters. You can't access the lighthouse but there is a good circuit walk around it which is worth the trip off the access road in the Fresinet National Park. During the winter months this is a good spot to see whales. Calls Bay is a seaside holiday village. The uncrowded beaches and crystal clear water offers the ideal location for swimming, boating, kayaking and fishing. This is the base town to explore Fresinet National Park. Wine Glass Bay Lookout 
The top attraction near Coles Bay is Wine Glass Bay Lookout. Lots of steps, so not ideal for those with bad knees. Worth it when you get to the top. Short, sharp hike for a stunning view. You also have the option to walk down the thousand steps and walk to the beach and circuit back. East Coast Nature Bird A wildlife sanctuary specializing in Tasmania's native wildlife. Lots of free ranging animals to interact with. <laughs> they offer walking tours and feeding times for devils. Worth spending a couple of hours here. Like what it's made of is cartilage. <laughs> and so floating sauna derby lake. The scenic floating sauna is only a short walk from the Derby village. I highly recommend going there in the morning to the perfect scenery. The sauna is a private property and you can book a session from their website, but you still can walk around and take pictures. Honeymoon Bay is located on the Fresnet Peninsula of Tasmania. It is a part of larger Coles Bay and popular destination for picnics, bird watching and snorkeling. Leggerwood Carved Memories Memories of war are carved in the wood. Leggerwood Carved Memorial Trees are trees sculpted into World War I soldiers in Dorset, Tasmania. Little Blue Lake. The Little Blue Lake is so rewarding to discover with truly amazing shade of blue. It's a result from the mineral in its base, left from the pioneering mining days of the surrounding areas. Swimming is not recommended due to the high mineral content in the water. Great Oyster Bay Lookout in the East Coast is a great place to look out over Fresinet Peninsula and the pink granite mountain range of the hazards. You can even sample the wine and produce at the vineyard as you take in the view. St. Columba Falls, one of the Tasmania's tallest waterfalls with a drop of over 90 meters. The parking along the road is a bit limited but the 30 minute return track from car park to falls is well maintained. Wine Glass Bay Cruise. It is a four and a half hour cruise of the waterway surrounding Fresnet National Park from Coles Bay to Wine Glass Bay. You may get a chance to see whales depend on the season. Look out for various hidden sea caves blowholes and waterfalls among the sheer granite cliffs.
Maria Island. Maria Island is a mountainous island located in the Tasman Sea, off the east coast of Tasmania. This is accessible only via a ferry. There are no cars other than the few national park vehicles. So the only way you can explore this island is by foot or hiring a bicycle. Major highlights are fossil cliffs and painted cliffs. Hollybank Adventure, Launceston, Tasmania's most breathtaking adventure attraction. They offer multiple adventure activities including the longest zip line tour. For something more relaxing, go off-road into the forest on a Segway tour. Or if you are more adventurous, balance your way for a two and a half hour through tree ropes challenge course ranges in different levels from kids to adults. Alrighty. Bridstow Lavender Farm. This is a small drive from Launceston. The best time of the year to visit is January, when the lavender is in full bloom and ready to harvest. You can join guided tours to taste many lavender products and to see harvesting process. You can also pr purchase their products on site. Catrach Gorge Reserve. Basing, chairlift and walking tracks. Cataract Gorge Reserve at the heart of Launceston City is a recreation hub to swim, walk, dine in and enjoy nature with the chairlift. From the first basin, the network of walking and hiking trails take visitors through the gardens, wilderness and panoramic lookouts. This is an excellent play area and wildlife that includes kangaroos and peacocks for children. Southern Lights or Aurora Tasmania is the best place in Australia to see Southern Lights. This can happen any day of the year, but it is not predictable in advance. I will add a link to a complete video on catching Aurora in Tasmania and a map of best places to see southern lights from Tasmania. Beehive Exitia The beehive is a delicious and fascinating world of honey. They have a display where you can see real bees at work and try spotting the queen bee. It is a small place but if you are passing by it is worth a look. Just 20 minute drive from Launceston. Braddy's Lookout Braddy's Lookout is a few minutes drive from Launceston, has easy parking off the highway and short walk to the top for a beautiful panoramic view over Tama River. Charlie's Desert Restaurant This is a fantastic desert cafe in the heart of Launceston that is open to late most evening. They offer a huge selection of cakes, pies, slices and treats to choose from.
City Park Launceston, a beautiful Victorian park right in the center of Launceston. Well maintained and easily accessible. They have resident Japanese macaques and motorized train ride around the park and are highly recommended for kids. Franklin House is a convict built from 1838 and run by volunteers. This is a very easy to find place near Launceston with lovely garden. It is nice to see the house has been restored so the history is not lost. During our visit there was a little heritage festival which was a bonus. James Boggs Brewery Boggs Brewery is an Australian brewery company founded in 1883 in Launceston. This is a great beer tasting tour if you travel in Launceston. Um, so we're going to spend the first hour or so in the brewery, going right through the brewery. Um, they offer a very informative guide, a mixture of history and humour with tasting at the end. Have you come across that term that you mean here, mainland? Yeah, yeah. Save us remembering which individual state you come from. We just want you all to get it. All right, this is going to stop here for a second. Queen Victoria Museum and Art Gallery. Located in a grand old building is a collection of wonderful works of art from many Australian artists and a largest regional museum in Australia. Highlights include dinosaur, native Tasmanian species, convict history and art gallery. Liffey Falls. Liffe Falls is a popular tourist destination and approximately 30 km from Delorine. This is a cascading waterfall, stepping itself down multiple tiers. The different parts of the waterfall along the track have their own names. This is a 45 minute return walk from the car park. A nice add on to the waterfall is a short walk to this enormous eucalyptus big tree. Lilydale Falls. This is another beautiful spot near Launceston that you could easily access with a short walk from the car park. There are two falls through a forest reserve. The track can be muddy during the winter. National Automobile Museum. National Automobile Museum is one of the finest motor museums in Australia. It is a museum with a broad selection of unique vintage automobiles and motorcycles. The display will change over months and it is a great reason to revisit. Old Mac Cafe. This is a warm and inviting place near Launceston City. A unique cafe to have breakfast with stunning beefs and a visit to the animal nursery and walk around the paths.
Penny Royal Adventures. This is a playful place with a charming complex of bars, restaurants and wide range of activities for a family. Including zip lines, rock climbing and cliff walks. All activities are scheduled so better to book them in advance if you are planning to visit. They also offer in-house apartments with great views. Springfield Tea Room. This is a real working Amish farm that has a little tea room area where they serve homemade pies, jam, lovely fabrics and lots of other goodies. Plenty of choices for a lovely lunch, morning or afternoon tea. It is closed on Mondays and Sundays and open for a limited time every day. All sales are cash only. Grindle World, a Swiss village in the middle of Tasmania. This is a Swiss themed Tama Valley Resort just 50 minute drive from Launceston city. It includes a range of activities including a shopping arcade, news and gift store, clothing store, cafe and bakery and play areas for kids. Woolmers Estate is a lovely private historic estate with gorgeous roses and flowers maintained by volunteers. You can spend a few nights in one of the convict build workers' cottages. They have a restaurant overlooking the rose garden and offer guided tours of the main historic home. Thanks for watching. And of course it can be impossible to visit all these places in a short trip to Tasmania. But nevertheless I hope it will help you to add few more things to do in your trip to Tasmania. I will be uploading the next video with another 40 plus places covering northern Tasmania and western Tasmania. Till then enjoy and stay safe.